Fernando Altamirano was a Mexican physician, botanist and naturalist, who published more than 250 papers on pharmacology of Mexican plants and on physiology. He was also interested in the industrial uses of Mexican plants. Altamirano was son of Manuel Altamirano Tejas and Micaela Carbajal and had at least two full siblings, Federico and Alberto. He had also seven half-brothers and sisters, Delfina, Edelavina, Jose, Eduardo, Rafael, Maria Lucia and Maria Margarita. Fernando was born in Acolco, state of Mexico, on July 7th. 1848 and was baptized in the parish of the same town two days later. With the full name of Fernando Gulebaldo Isabel Juan Jose Maria de Jesus Altamirano. During his childhood, around 1850, he moved with his family to San Juan del Rio, and three years after, to the city of Carretaro where he studied at the San Francisco Javier College, called years later the Civil College. By the end of 1861, at age 13, he had already lost his father and mother, so his education was mostly influenced by his grandfather, Manuel Altamirano, a physician and botanist, who introduced him in the botanic studies. In 1868, Altamirano moved to Mexico City, where he studied at the newly opened National Preparatory School. A year later, he joined the National School of Medicine, where he finished his studies in 1873. That same year, he entered the Academy of Medicine which would be renamed a few years later as the National Academy of Medicine of Mexico. He also joined the Mexican Society of Natural History. On November 9, 1873, Altamirano married Luisa Gonzalez, in the city of Querétaro. Fernando and Luisa soon returned to Mexico City, where they had at least ten children. Among them Jose Maria, Jose Fa, Rafael, Fernando, Luisa, Maria, Jose Ignacio, Alberto, Carlos, and Jose Salvador. Initially, Altamirano worked as a temporary assistant in the departments of pharmacy, pharmacology and drug history at the National School of Medicine. In 1876, he published the Catalogue of Indigenous Natural Products submitted by the Mexican Society of Natural History to the Centennial International Exhibition in Philadelphia. In 1877, he was employed as pharmacist, or preparer of medications. That year, he conducted studies on the properties of the seeds of the flame coral tree, Erythrina coralloides, with Miguel Dominguez in 1877, and individually in 1888. In those studies, Altamirano registered for the first time the cholinergic activity of the seeds of the flame coral tree, an activity that he suggested was due to the presence of an unknown alkaloid, which he called erythroidine. This alkaloid was completely isolated until 1937 by Carl Falkers and Randolph T. Majors. In 1878, Altamirano published his thesis for the degree of professor, entitled Contribution to the Study of National Pharmacology, Medicinal Indigenous Legumes. The illustrations were drawn by his friend, the painter Jose Maria Velasco. He continued as a pharmacist and as a professor of pharmacology and physiology, but also as an interim professor of therapeutic, topographic anatomy and gynecology. 
In addition, he worked as a physician in the hospital of San Andres and in private practice. In the same period, he published several articles in the Medical Gazette of Mexico and in the Journal of the Mexican Society of Natural History. In 1888, Altamirano was appointed as the first director of the National Medical Institute of Mexico. He held this position until his death. There, he installed the first laboratory of physiology in Mexico. During this period, he also made numerous field trips of medical botany to different regions of the country. Some in the company of internationally renowned botanists as Joseph Nelson Rose, Cyrus Pringle and George Russell Shaw. Additionally, Altamirano conducted numerous investigations, reported on the two journals of the Institute. El Estudio and Analis de el Instituto Medico Nacional. On the other hand, he was responsible for the Institute's involvement in the Exposition Universal, held in Paris in 1889. In 1894, along with Jose Ramirez, Altamirano wrote an advanced report on environmental remediation, entitled List of botanical and common names of trees and shrubs to repopulate the forests of the Republic, accompanied by an indication of the climates where they grow and how to propagate them. Moreover, in 1895, he discovered a species of axolotl or salamander not known before in the mountains around Mexico City. He sent some specimens to the French zoologist Alfredo Duguez, at that time living in Guanajuato, who identified this axolotl as a member of a new species, unnamed it Ambustama Aldhamarani, in honor of Aldhamarano. Next year, Aldhamarano published an interesting article entitled Natural History Applied to Ancient Mexicans. He was alderman in Mexico City in 1897, and in the Villa de Guadalupe on several occasions. Fernando participated in several international conferences, such as the 9th International Congress of Hygiene and Demography held in Madrid from the 10th to the 17th of April 1898. He established links with leading scientific institutions in Europe, U.S. and Latin America. Afterwards, he translated from Latin to Spanish the work of Francisco Hernandez de Toledo on plants of New Spain. In addition, in 1898, he obtained a copy of the manuscripts written by José Mariano Massinho, which remained in Europe. In 1904, Aldhamirano presented the book Materia Medica Mexicana, a manual of Mexican medicinal herbs for the Louisiana Purchase Exposition, held in St. Louis, Missouri. This book was based on the numerous studies published in the Data for Mexican Materia Medica by the National Medical Institute, in which he contributed significantly. One year later, in 1905, Altamirano and Joseph Nelson Rose described a new Forbese from the states of Guanajuato, Carretero and Michoacan, locally called Palo Amarilla. They considered it a new species and named it U4 Bialasticat, although now it also known as U4 Biafulfat. Altamirano was interested in this U4 base due to its elastic resin content, which he hoped could be profitably converted into commercial rubber, as had been previously done with Weule in northern Mexico. In the National Medical Institute, he and his colleagues conducted several studies with the Palo Amarillo until 1908. 
but they could not get commercial rubber extracted from it in a profitable way. Fernando Altamirano died on October 7, 1908, at his home in the Villa de Radalupe, near Mexico City, due to an internal bleeding. Resulted from a ruptured abdominal aortic aneurysm. He was buried in the pantheon of Tepeyac. Altamirano is considered one of the main initiators of modern pharmacological studies in Mexico and the first Mexican physiologist. At least one genus and nine species of plants and animals were named after him.